Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm just gonna to talk to you briefly about uh, my number one unicorn in my collection. Uh, I was recently looking at a couple, uh, one of uh, Robes 08's videos where he talked about, since he had been off of YouTube for a while, he came back and he was talking about all these unicorn fragrances that he had found uh, over the time that he was absent. So that just made me wanna talk about one particular fragrance that I consider to be the unicorn of unicorns in my collection is one that, that I found. I was lucky enough to find it uh, and get it under retail. This is a fragrance that I don't even find for sale online. It's not even on eBay for ridiculous prices. So this is a fragrance that even if I wanted to sell it, so many people probably don't know about it that it would just sit there and I wouldn't even get uh, make any profit off of it. So I'm happy to have it in my collection. And this one is from um, one of my favorite uh, Privé lines. This is from uh, Armani Privé and this is Ombre Orient. All right. Ombre Orient, this one was released in 2010, and this came in the collection which was called the Des Mille et Un Nuit. Um, and this one is a, uh, said to be inspired by uh, the medieval Arabic tales from A Thousand and One Nights. In this collection, when this originally came out, this came out with Oud Royale and Rose the Etterby. And I rem the only other uh, review that I saw of this one was from Robes O'E. Robes 08 and he and he did his review from a sample so I, I picked it up I blind bought it obviously I didn't have a chance to smell it again this the replacement for this ended up being Myrrh Imperial and that is my all-time favorite fragrance from the Armani Privé line and with this one the notes on this are vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, thyme, labdanum, amber, spicy cinnamon, and pink pepper. And this is a awesome amber scent. Now that I'm smelling it, because I just recorded a video talking about O'Hara, which is an amber scent as well. And the Ombre Orient, it does have that spicy amber um, DNA, which is familiar to like, again, uh, Ombre Sultan and uh, Amber Absolute but this one is sweeter it's sweeter it's it's unique enough that would be different from say ombre sultan for example it's not as spicy as that it is sweeter than that and it is also sweeter than ohira but this is a unicorn again in my collection just because you can't find it you cannot find it at all and uh, you know when i'll get things I'll, I'll look at it see what it's going for see if it's worth um hanging on to or selling it because most things that you'll see um, will be online, but it might be for ridiculous prices. Something might be, something like this might be, say, five, six hundred dollars, even more. But I don't even see anybody that owns it that's really that's willing to get rid of it in their collection. So I'm going to hang on to it. I do like it a lot. Mer Imperial is still my all-time favorite from the line, but so many of the Armani Privés in that collection especially the ones that are they're amber centered or amber themed those are quite good i think that they really they hit it out of the park with most of the releases that they have but i just wanted to talk about this this is my number one unicorn in my collection it's not my favorite discontinued fragrance uh, as far as Ar armani Privé again Mer imperial would be that but I've, i have a number of them but this is the the number one hardest to find fragrance that I do have in my collection from discontinued fragrances. Again, this is Ombre Orient from the Armani Privé line. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.